The scandal that is rocking football has taken another twist. Barry Burnell, the former football coach and convicted paedophile, is believed to be in hospital tonight in Stevenage. Taken there by ambulance on Friday after he was found unconscious at an address nearby. Police described it as a fear for welfare incident. They wouldn't give any more details. But as he is treated, outside the storm is growing. The FA has started an internal inquiry, but some politicians are calling for much more, an independent, judge-led investigation. The widespread nature of the abuse seems to be shocking and the number of victims who are coming forward. But of course, what's shocking as well on top of that is you know, allegations that have been made that clubs paid players to keep silent uh, on these matters, uh, that people took complaints to their clubs or to the Football Association, and we're not certain what happened with those complaints when they were made. Andy Woodward was the first to speak out, but now more than 20 former players have made allegations of abuse at major clubs. Not just at Crew Alexandra, but Blackpool, Manchester City, Stoke City, Leeds United and Newcastle United. Four police forces have also confirmed they're investigating abuse in football, not just restricted to Barry Burnell. Journalist Deborah Davies can't believe it's all taken so long. She filmed a documentary in 1997 when Barry Burnell was first jailed in America for abuse. Possibly a whole generation of boys, certainly dozens, maybe even hundreds, had been abused by him. The FA simply didn't want to know. They refused an interview. When I doorstepped their head of coaching outside the FA, he quite literally walked past me saying nothing. David Mellor was sports minister at the time. He told me the FA must reveal what they knew. The FA's been unfit for purpose for years. And the fact is that every time there's a problem in football, you learn that the FA knew about it and did nothing about it until they're dragged into the light. I am angry about it because I think that parents deserve their children to be protected. They deserve the security of knowing their children are protected. There are questions not only about what happened, but how it was allowed to happen. Questions about the culture of a game that must now hold itself to account.